Hello and welcome to our digital and design contest presentation video. The name of the project is Virtual Touchscreen Game and basically what we want to do is to emulate touchscreen on simple TFT monitor using camera and finger detection. For this project we are using Zybo development board from Digilent, Logitech USB web camera, VGA TFT monitor, micro SD card, keyboard, mouse and USB hub. The operating system used on this project is Xilinux by Xilibus, which is basically a modified Ubuntu 12.04 distribution of Linux based operating system optimized for Zybo board. The main tool for game graphics and finger detection that we used is an open source library for C, C++ called OpenCV. Installation guide for the operating system and OpenCV are described step by step in the instructables link in the video description. The idea was to develop two applications, the game application and finger detection application separately and to run them in two different processes. The finger detection application would detect the fingers, calculate the coordinate and then send the information to game application. The game app would then update the position of each tile based on that information. Communication between two processes is done using FIFA buffer. A problem can occur if you run one of these two programs but not the other. If you run only the finger detection app, the buffer will be created, but if there is no one to read from the buffer, the app will stop because there is no space to write a message and it will stay like that until someone reads from buffer. If you run only the game app, the buffer cannot be opened because it was not created. You must run this application simultaneously, either by running a script or running the true programs through two terminals with small delay. When executing the finger detection application, you can define if you want to do a calibration of the system or do you want to read earlier calibrated values from file. You can tell the program if you want to perform the calibration by adding the arguments 0 or 1 in the terminal when executing the program. If the calibration is on, the system will wait for you to press the push button 0 on the board to take the snapshot of the screen. Next, you need to calibrate the system until you extract only the grey color of the playing fields. When the fields are only thing white on the screen, you calibrate the system. This is done by generating the hue, saturation and value of the picture with push buttons 2 and 3, 2 being the value up and 3 being the value down. With buttons 0 and 1 you alter between values of hue minimum, hue maximum, saturation minimum, saturation maximum, value minimum and value maximum. Once you are satisfied with the results, press buttons 0 and 1 together to exit the calibration mode. The next picture that appears is the are these your playing polygons picture. If you are satisfied press button 2 to continue and button 3 to continue the calibration. Next stage is the finger calibration. You place a finger on the screen where the silver fields are located and then change the hue saturation value of the picture until only the fingers are visible. The procedure is identical to the previous one. You change the values with button 2 and 3 and alter between hue saturation and value with 0 and 1. When you are satisfied press 0 and 1 together. Now the calibration is done and you can play the game. The game application will wait until the calibration is done and then run. At this point there is a significant delay between the figure movement and moving the tile. This is because the project is pure software design and there are two functions which are critical. The function that converts RGB into HSV and function that smooths out the finger. Combined these two functions have delay of about 110 to 130 milliseconds while the hole detection and sending has a delay of about 150 milliseconds. The next step in optimizing the design was to implement these two functions in hardware. This will be done in future projects.